So this is going to be a quick review of a new mascara that I bought. Um, last time I reviewed the Rimmel mascaras, and since then I found out that they do test on animals. So mascaras were getting a little old anyway. I chucked them, and I decided to look into what mascaras are cruelty-free. I found out that Milani is a cruelty-free company, and it's also really affordable. So I wasn't quite ready to go into the Dior and MAC mascaras, so I decided to spend $8.99 and buy the Milani one. So I bought this one, the Milani Grandissimo Lashes. It's in a super sweet orange package, and I read the back of it, and it actually says, instead of what usually, instead of what you usually find in the back of makeup, it says, made in Italy. Maybe that's why it's called Milani. So anyways, that was, that was pretty exciting for me. I've already applied two coats on each eye, so you can see um, what it looks like. And I have a little bit of eyeliner, too, just so I don't look like a naked mole rat. I wanted to show you what it looks like when you open it. Um, one of the things that I don't like about it is that the actual brush is bigger than my eyeball. You can see it's bigger than my eyeball, so it's kind of hard to get into corners, but uh, it works really well. It makes my lashes nice and heavy, and it gives me that clumpy feel. I know a lot of girls don't like clumpy eyelashes, but I think it's very natural, kind of sexy looking. It makes you look like you just partied all night and then woke up, and you look amazing, even though you just put that uh, mascara on today. The smell is a little funky as well, but overall, I would give it four stars out of five in terms of uh, affordability, how well it works. We will see. I will post later. Uh, in the comments and the info whether or not it will last with like sweat so it's not waterproof it's not supposed to be but I do prefer that even my non waterproof mascaras kind of stay on my lashes and not run down my face so anyways thanks for watching guys have a good one